Hey guys, it's me, Talia Risa Gibson. You can call me Tag for short, and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a little bit of a get ready with me. I'm showing you how I am retwisting my locks. Some of them I had already done, but I needed to finish um, especially in the back and so I was spraying my scalp um, and then now I am doing the retwist and also utilizing the clips to hold them in place in the meantime so this won't be a lot of talking in this video but every so often I'll chime in At this stage, you don't necessarily have to use the clips, but I like to do it so that I know which locks I have already retwisted and which ones I still need to work on. So it's helpful for me. So when my scalp gets a little dry or a little bit itchy, I use a little bit of this Carol's Daughter oil and I just kind of massage it into my scalp. Um, not too much because you don't want it to be oily or have oily locks. And not every day, but every so often I'll add the braid and lock butter by Kaleidoscope and just kind of massage it into my hand and add it onto my locks. You don't want to do too much because you don't want to have like build up in your locks. So just keep that in mind. I am not a professional, but it's something that I wanted to do and try to do on my own. And eventually I'll probably get retwist by a loctician, but it's a journey I kind of wanted to just start and see how I could do it myself. I've enjoyed the journey. It's something new and also I think just healthier for my hair. Anytime we can keep our hair in our natural state, it's always a healthier choice. And so I'm enjoying the process. So I have been trying to retwist about every um, month and so that's been a good pace for me. If I see that it needs it sooner then I do that but I try to hold off for at least a month. But it's important to wash your hair. For me if I can do every two weeks then I do but if I need to do sooner then I just kind of pay attention to my hair.
So I decided to brush down my edges a little bit and make sure it looks nice and clean. So before I finish the few more that I have at the top. So I was listening to a R&B holiday playlist, so I can't remember which song it was. So if you see me dancing or moving, I'm not talking to myself, I'm singing. <laughs> And actually, I was listening to Chris Brown's version of This Christmas. My arms definitely get tired reaching back and doing all of that. <laughs> So I bought these cute holiday wreath earrings and I didn't really get to wear them last Christmas and I remembered I had them and they matched what I had on because I had on greenish color pants uh, to bring out the green leaves in my shirt and so it went perfectly. So I'm prepping my face so I can put on a little bit of makeup for the day. So I don't like to feel like I have a lot of makeup caked on so sometimes I just use this, the lip bar bronzer. It just gives me a little bit of coverage and sometimes I'll put concealer on before but this was an even lighter day. So just doing a little bit of eyeshadow just to give a little pop to my eye, not too much. And I really like this eyeliner from CoverGirl. It's a retractable one and it's thin. I really like it.
So now I'm gonna clean up my eyebrows with this cheap pencil by LA Girl that I get from Target. And I like the way that it works because it's very like thin tip, which is really good for trying to do like strokes on your eyebrow. So now I'm gonna use this full and soft mascara just to give my eyes a little bit more of a pop. If I don't do anything else, I always make sure I do my eyes and my eyebrows. I don't always wear powder, but I always have to do my eyes and my eyebrows. I haven't really gotten into wearing the lash extensions or anything like that. I think if I ever do, it would be with a professional. I don't think I would wanna do like just the lashes and I don't want them to be too big. I want them to look natural. So now I'm gonna do some lips with uh, this lipstick by Thread. And yeah, just a little light color. And then just a little NYX gloss on top. And now I'm taking out the clips so that I can style it a little bit and be ready to go. It's so fun to shake them. I remember when they wouldn't shake at all because they were so short. <laughs> They're growing. They're still short and in kind of a young stage, but definitely have grown so much. Thank you for tuning into this video. As always, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and of course, hit that bell notification so you'll know when I post. Until next time, bye. Like, comment, subscribe.